Boy, has it been hot. Way up into the 30s, which is unusual for here, because we've actually got another Kalima, and it's sort of on the back of this big heat wave that's been hitting Spain and other parts of Europe as well. Oh, it's sort of like lying in an oven last night in bed. Right, you too. Well, we've come out for a meal tonight because Sue is off to the UK in the morning. Well, no, sorry, not in the morning, in the evening tomorrow. And she's away for 18 days. <laughs> so the boys and I are on holiday too, on our own. It's a lovely evening here in El Cotillo. As you can see. I don't think I've ever seen so many people waiting for the sunset. Quite busy here in El Cotillo, but then it is August, so there'll be a lot of Spanish from the mainland here on holiday. See, from the bar and the restaurant there, it's quite busy. It's quite busy over there too, the pescadores. Time for pudding. Well, that's who dropped off at the airport. Just going to go and do my shopping for the 18 days she's away. Actually, lots of uh, bulk cooking, bolognese sauces and curries and things. So I'm quite happy to eat the same thing three or four days on the trot if need be, and Sue isn't. So we don't tend to do that when she's here. Anyway, getting latish. The afternoon now that she doesn't actually get into Manchester until nearly midnight but uh, fortunately her son's picking her up in the airport so that's not a problem but back to the boys take her out for a walk and then home for dinner oh that Sue's flight just taken off oh, it's sad isn't it I always watch all the way on flight radar 24 that's the bit she hates taking off and landing and a bit in between. She's not a great flyer. Just watching and see if it's going to turn left and come over the house. Boy, has it been hot. Way up into the 30s, which is unusual for here, because we've actually got another Kalima. And it's sort of on the back of this big heat wave that's been hitting Spain and other parts of Europe as well. Oh, it's sort of like lying in an oven last night in bed. I think I'll still awake at half past four. Just, <laughs> just couldn't sleep. The poor dogs didn't know where to put themselves. Yeah. And this is gonna stay here for another couple of days, they say. So I think I'll hit the swimming pool when I get back. 
if the dogs had any sense they'd come in with me but uh, neither of them like water uh, so we're just doing a quick walk today because it's just too bloody hot to do anymore although there's a breeze as you can probably tell there's probably a wind noise on this the breeze is hot so it's not cooling us down at all but you know i suppose some people like it people who are on holiday think it's wonderful if all they're going to do is lie by a pool all day Boys and I aren't so keen when it's this hot. Come on boys, let's go. Well it's the following day, still got a Kalima, still incredibly hot, but it's been blowing an absolute gale since about 8 o'clock last night. And it's now 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it's still so windy, but the, the wind is just so hot. Yet again it was like lying in a, an oven, lying on the bed, not in the bed. And this morning I woke up and came out and found a hedge, baby hedgehog swimming in the pool again. So I've made a couple of little scamper mats. So hopefully I'd better get out if they get in. And I'll go and show them to you, but uh, it's so windy out there. I'm under cover here. You won't be able to hear me talk. So that's what I'm about to show you. Dogs are suffering. Bunch of boys. Don't like the heat like this, do you boys? Can't take your fur coats off. Hey Oscar. Not very nice, is it, boy? Well, while Sue's away, I decided to do some DIY stuff. You know how much I hate that. And I decided to paint the kitchen wall because it had some dirty marks on it. And when we had the leak, they had to make holes in the wall. So it's just been filled. And I didn't realise until I took the pictures off the wall just how much the paint had faded. I didn't think blue faded as much as that. Normally it's red that fades. So it'll look better when it's done.
Well, that's the first coat done. I'm sure it's going to need the second coat, although it's looking better as it dries. We will see. No, my luck. Oh, it's going much for bike racing. It's all finished. It's still drying a bit. Did need a second coat in the end. Things back. I have to say, this is one of the things that's better here that is in the UK. The light switches are like this. Chirping away in the tree there. I've only seen one of the two in the last few days. I don't know whether they're both still here. That's definitely a budgie you can hear there. Can't see it though. Oh, the postman's just been and brought us a Christmas card. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? Posted on the 17th. Posted on the 17th of November, 2020. And it's just arrived today, the 27th of August, 2021. I think that's a record for the post office. Well done. All right, so last dog walk before Sue comes back. That 18 days went very quickly. Oh, typical. As soon as I get the phone out, the wind picks up. There hasn't been a breath since we left the car. <sighs> Just incredible. Yep, so we're having an early walk, and then I've got to go to the airport to go and pick her up. The flight's on time, according to Flight Radar 24. been pretty hot the last few days. Hardly seen a cloud. How terrible. Right, let's finish our walk boys. Well I've arrived at First Ventura Airport just as Sue was landing. I'm waiting for her now. Of course, I can't go in and wait for her. I've got to stand outside because you're not allowed in unless you're a passenger. Too dangerous, obviously, for me to go into this really busy terminal there and go and stand over there and wait for her to come through. That would be really dangerous, wouldn't it? It's about time everybody got a grip and grew up and forgot all these ridiculous regulations. Anyway, one funny thing. About four hours ago, just as they were boarding the flight, I had a message from a viewer, Julia, saying they've just met Sue in the queue because they're also on the same flight. So, Sue's had a your Sue in First Ventura moment as well. well hopefully I'm not going to have to wait too much longer. Well, that amused me anyway. A woman walked out of the door with a suitcase and what have you. She looked at me, pulled down a mask and said, oh, fresh air at last. And then walked straight over to the bin and lit up a cigarette. Made me laugh anyway. 